President Biden's sweeping student loan forgiveness plan is now in the hands of a judge in St. Louis. Judge John Ross heard arguments in Missouri and Attorney General Andrew Bailey sued against the president. Fox 2's Andy Banker digging into the case of Missouri versus Biden. St. Louis's federal courthouse took center stage for the showdown over whether President Biden can forgive hundreds of billions of dollars in student loans. Attorneys general from Florida, Georgia, Ohio, Oklahoma, North Dakota, and Arkansas have joined Missouri in seeking an injunction to stop the president and Education Secretary Miguel Cardona from canceling partial, even total student debt for more than 30 million Americans, which the states maintain could cost half a trillion dollars. This is $500 billion, right? I mean, that's almost two years of the GDP of the state of Missouri. And this is all going to, you know, from teachers, truckers, and farmers to people who haven't paid off their student loans. Attorneys for the Department of Education did not comment. In court, they argued that student loan forgiveness programs like one called SAVE for low-income borrowers are rooted in the Higher Education Act, first passed by Congress in 1965. The president's new policy includes the cancellation of all student debt for those who've been repaying loans for 20 years or more and the cancellation of up to $20,000 in interest for those who now owe more than their original loan. Though the power is not expressly granted by Congress, the president says it is allowed through the Secretary of Education's rulemaking authority. My administration has taken the most significant action to provide student debt relief ever in the history of this country. The U.S. Supreme Court blocked a similar plan from the president last year, which his legal team unsuccessfully argued then was allowed under the HEROES Act passed by Congress for student debt relief in times of emergency. And I think it's pretty notable that this is their plan B. I mean, they thought their first attempt was going to be their better statute, and that's why they went with this. This is their backup plan, and I think, given that we prevailed at the Supreme Court in the last one, I expect we'll prevail in this one, too. Judge Ross cut off arguments after about 90 minutes. He said he realizes time is of the essence. You can expect a ruling from him within the next two weeks. In downtown St. Louis, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.